Do you ever wanted to earn money by playing video games? Attention! The best players in my parkour game can win the total amount of 150 euros. More information at the end of the video. First, I'm gonna show you how I made this game in 24 hours without writing a single line of code. I used the game engine Core. If you don't know what Core is, it's like Roblox with better graphics. You can use it to make and play games. So, starting off, I created an empty level and adjusted the jumping height. Perfect. Yeah, to make the game look good, I needed to decide for a setting. Core offers thousands of great assets from different worlds, but I decided to use a fantasy style. Yeah, I kinda like it. Using the different medieval objects, I started to build some stages. And since it would suck if you had to restart from the beginning every time, we are gonna need a checkpoint system. But I... am kinda lazy, so I didn't want to program anything. That's why I searched for a solution in the community assets and I downloaded this checkpoint system. And it worked right off the box. Nice! I also found this very nice platforming set that I joined. It contained awesome objects like moving platforms, spiky platforms, crashing platforms and these swinging blades. But those were kind of boring, so I added a cannon. Yeah, das ist eine gute Kanone. But the background still looked super boring. We can fix that. In Core you can simply generate a terrain by clicking at this button and thus we have some hills and mountains. Amazing. Let's make it better. To do so we just need to drag a so-called texture on the terrain and we can make it look like snowy mountains, a desert or whatever this is. Ah. I really fell in love with grass cliffs, so this is what we will use. But now those towers look awkward, hovering above the ground, defying gravity. We can do better than this. By using the scouting tool to terraform the train. Perfect. I did this for all the towers and now they have their own cliffs. But the landscape is still empty and uninteresting. I started by digging a giant hole, then I filled it with a big box and smashed the water texture onto it. Now we have a nice lake. I like it. The last thing missing is some vegetation. So I randomly spawn trees. Ah, that's a little bit too much. To control where the trees grow, I can paint the corresponding places brown. Afterwards, I just need to decide which trees I want and we have a bunch of small cozy forests. To make the game more atmospheric, we can adjust the lights. After some trial and error, I decided to go with this look and a little bit of fog at the ground. To be honest, I was kind of surprised how good this looked in the end. With the world done, I created a few more parkour stages and finished the game with a castle. This is where you can start a new run by using the teleport platform. And we have this leaderboard, which is way too large. Huh, hmm. Yeah, this Yannick dude seems to be really good at the game. But this will change very soon. I have some awesome prizes for the best players in my game. The five people who will have the best times at 12 o'clock on May the 12th will win. The first place gets 50 euros, the second place 40 euros, the third 30, the fourth 20 and the fifth 10. I also talked to Mr. Core and he decided to add some prizes. So the best five players also gonna get these two skins as well as this awesome shark mount. You can use them in every core game. By the way, Core and therefore my game is completely free. To join the contest, just use my affiliate link to create your account. You will find it in the video description. Afterwards, you just need to play my game Parkour and be one of the five best players. Easy! Once you've done this, you can write me at the end of the competition on Core, YouTube, Instagram, Discord or whatever, so we can arrange the prize. Have fun and good luck! And don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Uh...